Hey guys, this is the AC Service Tech, and today what we're going over is the Danfoss Refrigerant Slider app. This app is currently free on iTunes and also Google Play, and is linked down in the description below. And I'm going to go over how to use the app, I'm going to discuss why I'm using it, and also show you a quick comparison of some R22 retrofit refrigerants. The app's easy to use. You just select your refrigerant right here, and these on the top right here are my favorites. Basically, let's just go down and find R407C. And we're just going to go ahead and click that. And if we wanted to enter into R407C, we could do that. Or we could just go back to the selection bar right here. You see that R407C was added in. The app's going to give you access to about 80 different refrigerants. And now let's go ahead over to R22. Back when we used to have to use a paper pressure temperature chart, but the refrigerant slider app makes it real easy because you can just put your temperature in and you'll get your pressure, or you put your pressure in and you'll get your temperature. You could also do it with the slide right here, and it'll tell you what the saturated temperature is. And we're always trying to find the saturated temperature since our gauges are reading pressure. We're then converting that pressure to temperature in order to check our refrigerant charge. So let's just use the slide right here, and we're going to increase. And as we increase the pressure, the temperature increases. As we increase the temperature, pressure increases. All right, so you can use that or hit right here. And then you can go ahead and delete that number, and then you can write in your own temperature. And then you'll have your, your pressure correlating over here. Saturated refrigerant means that you have both liquid and vapor present at the same time. You have that pressure-temperature correlation. When you know the pressure of a refrigerant bottle, then you know the temperature that it's at. Vice versa, if you know the temperature of a refrigerant bottle, then you know what pressure it is. So the saturated state can be found in a refrigerant bottle or in an often equalized system at the service ports. You could also find it while the system is running in both the evaporator and the condenser coil. And that's why this PT app is so important. Because if you're reading 68.5 PSIG on your vapor gauge and it's telling you that you have a 40 degree evaporator coil the, and the actual temperature that you have on the suction line is, say, 52, then that would mean that you have 12 degrees of superheat. Likewise... If you had a 100 degree condenser coil, basically you're reading 194 PSIG, 100 degree condenser coil, and you are actually reading 90 degrees on your liquid line, then that would mean that you have 10 degrees of subcooling. Let's take a look at the features and settings. We can select our absolute pressure, PSIA, pounds per square inch absolute, or we can select our gauge pressure. So remember at sea level, we're reading 14.7 PSIA, which gets added to our gauge reading, which is 68.54, and that would end up equaling 83.24 PSIA. But let's just go ahead and leave it on gauge since we have our gauge set zeroed out depending on our elevation. And we can go into the settings here. We can click Celsius or we can click Fahrenheit. And then also you have AR4 and AR5. That has to do with the IPCC uh, fourth and fifth reports. That has to do with the global warming potential. And since this is the newest one which is the fifth report we're just going to leave it on that uh, down here you can go ahead and scan back and forth you can go inch hg or millimeters hg psi bar we're just going to leave it on psi we're going to click done so there's three main reasons why i use this app if i'm checking the charge on a unit and i have my compound gauge set and i only have say three uh, pt charts overlaid onto the gauge faces and say I don't have the the right refrigerant I can quickly just go to the the app right here I can punch in the pressure and then I can figure out what the saturated temperature is if you do use digital gauge sets you know that will work for you as long as you have that attached but if you're trying to figure something out say some type of troubleshooting or, or something uh, and say you're trying to describe it to your to another tech or your helper or something like that this makes it real easy because you can just punch it right in so that leads me to the uh, second main reason is, you know, I have a lot of technicians calling in and describing a situation that they may have, such as a high superheat and a low subcooling, or even a high superheat and a high subcooling. So it really makes it easy to understand what they're talking about. And if the refrigerant that they're working with happens to be a blend refrigerant, then we can go ahead and look at that. Say it's a R438A. Bubble will tell you the temperature in the middle of the condenser coil, and that's used for subcooling. We change that to do that's the temperature in the middle of the evaporator coil and that's used for superheat but you also have access to the bubble and dew points of a blend refrigerant and so this just gives me a, a very quick saturated temperature reading 
And the third reason is it's an excellent teaching resource for in the classroom. So if we look here, we can see that R22 classification is a HCFC, and its safety group is an A1. The oil that it can use is mineral oil or alkybenzene. You see that it has a global warming potential of 1760, and you see that it has an ODP, ozone depletion potential. And we can compare that to a retrofit refrigerant such as R407C. And you see that that global warming potential is less at 1624, and it has no ODP. We can also see what refrigerants make up the R407C, such as the R32, the R125, and the R134A. We can also see the percentages, so 52% is 134A. The safety group A1, we do see the classification code of HFC, and then we also see that it takes POE oil. We can compare that to, say, something like MO99, which is R438A, and that one has a higher global warming potential but has no ODP, and you see that that's made up of R32, R125, R. 134A, 600, and 601A, and there's your percentages. Now that takes multiple different oils. So that can take mineral oil, alkybenzene, or PoE oil. We can also take a look at new 22 b which is R422B. That global warming potential is 2290 and zero ODP. And there's the refrigerants that make that one up. So R125, R134A, 600A. And there's its percentages. Once again, mineral oil, alkybenzene, POE oil. So there's many uses for this, and it's nice that they have it for free. And if you're looking to download it, I have that link down in the description below. Hope you enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you next time at AC Silver Stack Channel.